But you don't look gay. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold, let me just... I make him wear sunscreen. Hi, I'm John. I'm racist. Oh, wait, no, that's not. No, baby, you can't. No. You can't be saying that, okay? This neighborhood's scary. What do you want me? We are an interracial couple. Of course, he hasn't met my dad yet. What the rappers can say it, why can't I? No, honey, we can't. I'm not apologizing. About... I'm not apologizing. We are an interracial couple. We love exploring each other's cultures. Please just cooperate. No, I'm I really don't it. want you to say that. Ne we declare that the United States is our enemy. But you guys will help us out if something happens, right? Mm -mm. No, we fucking hate you arguably more than they- And just so we can go ahead and address this coward situation, <clears throat> my name is Robert. I am from Haywood County, North Carolina, born and raised. It really wouldn't be that hard to find me. So, there you go. The world's very first mirror bar has opened up on the Gold Coast, and when I say everything is made of mirrors... I am going to break every single thing in that bar the second I get one drink in me. <laughs> I could barely see that table right now, and I'm completely sober. You want me to walk to the bathroom when I'm drunk? in this carnival funhouse maze, you better make me sign a waiver. This, this bar's gonna look like they filmed a new fucking Terminator movie in there. I'm gonna look like I came out of a wood chipper when I leave. This is not gonna end well. And even if the, the tables re were turned around, I wouldn't agree. You, you, you wouldn't that. like it if the Republicans were attacking exactly. Democrats. I, I wouldn't like it at all. You've been to Trump rallies before? Oh yeah. So you were in Trump rallies in 2016? Right. Yes, sir. And when he was chanting, lock her up, lock her up. I was, I was I was chanting along with him. But, now let me say this, she was never investigated. The FBI never investigated anything. As a matter of fact, they dropped it and swept it under the rug. So the FBI announced an investigation into Hillary Clinton 11 days before the 2016 election, and a lot of people feel it cost her the election, so they did do that. They, they did do the investigation? I never heard of it. Liv, how you feeling? Oh, I feel so good. I just gotta get to see that good old hot <laughs> on this thing and we're good to go <laughs> well this tucker yeah he's my hero and then right under it says stop liberal intolerance if vladimir putin were running against joe biden for president who would you vote for for our country um that's a hard question i probably putin it is yeah i don't think putin's as bad as people want to you would him. vote for vladimir putin i would over Biden? Hell yeah. You would vote for Vladimir Putin for President of the United States. Putin wants to go back to good morality. He doesn't allow all this crap about genders and pronouns and crap. Do you think this, these views have to do with Tucker Carlson welcoming Vladimir Putin? No, 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 no. I, I say we need to get out of the Ukraine-Russia thing, let them work it out. You would vote for Vladimir Putin over Joe Biden for president yes, of the United I States. I would. I would. I'd rather have a corrupt Russian than a corrupt Biden. Well, there you have it.
home to America. Some immigrants are ungrateful and useless, and some are welcome and encouraged to come as they are the foundation of our country. Which are you? What's, uh, what's the difference? Well, people come to America for many reasons, but it's essentially because they want to support their family or they want to escape a shit situation, let's call it. A lot of times it's both. Okay, yeah, no, let's go with the second one. Okay, well, I'm sorry to hear that, but you are welcome here. Are you going to try to get a job? A what? Okay. Do you want to try to contribute to society in any sort of way? <laughs> no. Okay, totally fine. You're, you're allowed to do that here. Do you also want to complain about this country? I probably, yeah. Okay, so just to be clear, you want to leave a bad country, take it with you essentially, not contribute to this country, have the ability in this country to speak your mind without being shot, and you're going to use that ability to speak your mind without being shot to shit on the country that allows you to do all of that. Yep. Okay, well, here's $5,000 cash in an apartment in New York. Do you have transportation? Ah, it's fine. We'll take care of that for you. Do you have anything to say to me? Come on, what's the magic words? Death to America? Yeah, okay. You ever been catfished? <laughs> ah. He's been catfished before. See, catfished. women have this thing. It's called filters. Once they got that, I feel like, I feel like everybody's a catfish now. Like, like... We could pull any girl out right now. Hold on. Excuse me. Can I talk to you for a second? Just real quick. What? Can I, can I talk to you for a second? Sure. What's your name? Nicole. Nicole, nice to meet you. I'm nice Mike. to meet you. Can I see your Instagram profile real quick? Just real quick. Sure thing. <laughs> Show the camera real quick. I just want to. All right. That's, a, that's enough. Thank you, Nicole. No problem. Right. <laughs> See? That was a catfish. I that was a catfish. I ain't gonna lie. She looked good on the gram. Am I lying? She looked good on the gram. I rest my case. I rest my case. So I just went for a run, did some workouts, some push-ups. I'm just pulling back my foreskin and I'm just waving my hummus cannon around, that shroom. I'm sniffing. And there's a very subtle pheromonal primal secretion of apocrine pheromones underneath the foreskin and from the sides of the glands and the uh, what's it called the scrotal sac and it's really interesting because in ancient sparta the men were constantly working out with their foreskins forward they would wear this little thing called a kynodesme k-y-n-o-d-e-s-m-e which in english means dog tie and it was a string to tie their foreskin forward. And then the foreskin underneath would get very, very sweaty during the workout, during the naked wrestling, etc. And then they would go and shower together and they would pull back their foreskins and you get this very rank, primal, masculine, pheromonal release from all of the mushrooms in the bathhouse after they wrestled naked in the gymnasium. Gymnos means place of male undress. And so I find it really interesting. Men are really missing out on that aspect. Like there are, you know, hockey dudes who get naked, they pull back their foreskins and they'll shoot their hummus onto a cookie, but it's always done in the dark in a sense of like in shame and, and secrecy. Let's bring these rituals back into the light, back into the sun. Let's get those mushrooms out and sniff, sniff, sniff and bring in 5D, right? We need to activate the pheromones into the olfactory sense. Enjoy this video from back when I worked at Erewhon as I tell you about the most unhinged regular that we ever had. Her and I actually became friends. She liked me because I just made sure that I memorized her order by heart and whenever she'd walk into the room, I would just start making it before she even got up to order. Just to spare everyone the trauma and especially the newbies who would get screamed at if they messed it up, she would get an iced matcha no ice blended in the physical blender not shaken or stirred one and a half tablespoons of honey exactly cinnamon raw almond milk with an eight ounce cup of coconut milk on the side she would also request an extra four cups filled with pebble ice not the regular ice pebble ice from the back so she'd pour the iceless matcha into the four cups of ice and then put the coconut milk in those two she wanted to do that herself i don't know why she wouldn't just have us do that maybe she wanted to control the ratio she also felt like she was getting four drinks for the price of one that way which i guess whatever she always wanted a turmeric ginger shot also but not just any turmeric ginger shot she wanted us to start with hot water so that we could dissolve some marine collagen a very specific brand we'd have to go get from the back whisk it we would put turmeric ginger four drops of oregano black pepper to activate on top 
She was also the type to keep track of every penny, and because this order was so complicated with so many add-ons, the cashiers would have a really hard time ringing it up, and they would ring it up in different ways, so the price would kind of fluctuate for her, which I get is frustrating, but when it was different by like 60 cents, she would have a complete freak out, and multiple times, I literally saw her crying over it. Like, lady, this is a $65 coffee order that you get every single morning, and you're crying over 67 cents difference? It's just crazy. Someone do the math on how much that is per year. Oh, and you best believe she would never, ever, ever leave a single dollar of a tip for any of us. Needless to say, this order and this customer are forever burned in my memory, and I do not miss working at Airwine. <laughs>